next presenter with Mr. Joseph Hayden. Thank you, Adam, and uh, all the guys at EM Works for this opportunity to uh, present. Um, my name is Joe Hayden. I'm uh, a director at Hasis Limited. Um, I thought we would start with a little bit of marketing so I can tell you what it is we actually do. Um, we're a very small company in, in Cardiff, in South Wales, in the UK, um, and we develop a bespoke electronic and software development for various customers. Um, that includes communication systems um, and direction finding systems for airports, and that's the subject of uh, what I'll be talking about uh, today. We also are involved with um, the electricity distribution network and some of the monitoring at the low voltage side of that. And everything we um, uh, send through the door, we support. Uh, and some of these systems uh, need support for 20 plus years. Uh, so it's, it's long term um, effort. So who do we do it for? Some of our customers are the UK Ministry of Defence. That's our biggest customer. And then we have various customers all, all around the world, um, both on the airport side of the business, and then we have power distribution uh, companies that we do work for. So for the UK MOD, just, you know, um, just trying to minimize things. So for the UK MOD, uh, we provided a, and support a triangulation system that have 33 sites across the UK, um, and it's provided for position fixing for aircraft um, that are in distress, both military and civil aircraft. We also provide remote monitoring and control systems of, of all the active air bases uh, across the world, and we supply uh, UHF and receiver and transmitter equipment support. Um, we also do work for the Foreign and Commonwealth, Commonwealth Office uh, for their security equipment, uh, but again, that's bespoke electronic design. And as I mentioned, power distribution networks of Western Power, Jersey, uh, mainly at the moment in the UK. And the subject of today, direction finding systems. Um, and I'll go into that now. Uh, so our, um, we started a project many years ago but we were using someone else's antenna um, and we always wanted to uh, design our own antenna for various reasons. Um, so our antenna is based on um, the Doppler principle. Um, and the way this picture that I, I've got up on the screen now is a nice simple way of explaining how the Doppler principle works in, in terms of uh, direction finding. So if you can imagine one dipole uh, being physically rotated in a circular motion, um, that has the effect of modulating the incoming RF signal. Um, that modulation uh, uh, will then, if we feed that RF signal then to a, an FM receiver, that will then give us uh, an audio uh, signal output, which will be um, a sine wave, which is the uh, frequency of the mod of the rotation of the antenna. Um, I hope I, that that makes sense. So that's the whole principle of, of the Doppler. Um, but we don't actually obviously uh, take a, an antenna and rotate it round uh, uh, several thousand times a, a minute. What we do is um, we actually have sixteen antennas and we switch them around. So this is our detailed design. Of, of the antenna. Um, it's three meters across, so being a, a VHF antenna, it's, it's um, quite a, a large um, antenna. Uh, we, we had already designed the antenna before we started using the M Works. Um, we were using SolidWorks, uh, obviously, for the CAD functionality and also the FEA and CFD analysis. Uh, main, the CFD was mainly for wind loading uh, because these are in, uh, on top of masts in, in very windy conditions in airports. And also we get ice buildup uh, in cold countries. So we were able to confirm all the mechanical stresses and wind loading on, on the antenna. And 
we, we started realizing that we we could we could take the design and validate the design just by using uh, simulation. But what we wanted was then an RF-based solver, and we started looking at, uh, around the market to see if, was there anything available. And of course, oh sorry, we came across um, EM Works and HF Works. Um, so after long discussions with Adam <laughs> to, to get the software, um, we, we finally got the software and we started using it. So we started off um, quite small with our just a single dipole antenna. Uh, the dipole um, operates uh, in the aeronautical VHF band, which is 118 to 137 megahertz. Um, we then uh, modeled it with a 50 ohm lumped port, which you can just see inside there. Um, and then we were able to um, mesh it and run the simulation and see some results. So we got a polar uh, plot, we, we saw our frequency response, um, and we were quite happy to see that it's, it's roughly in, in the middle of the band of interest. So one of the things that we were then interested in was that that's one dipole, but what happens when it's 16 dipoles with all the different arms and it's all uh, made of aluminium? So what impact is that going to have um, on, on the performance of the dipole or the single dipole that's uh, rotating around? So the first problem we, we came across, we couldn't mesh uh, the, the existing SOLIDWORKS design. It was just too, too much detail, too many elements um, being produced by the mesh. Um, and the, the simulation was just taking far too long. Um, so it became very clear that we had to simplify um, the design. So this is what we finally came up with. And as you can see, it's at first glance, you could say, well, that's the same antenna, isn't it? Uh, but you can see that the dipole boxes have all been removed, any screws or anything with a thread, anything, any small geometry has been removed. Um, then we were able to get a reasonable mesh. Um, and then from that, we were only seeing uh, just over a quarter of a million mesh um, elements, whereas previously we were seeing over 10 million uh, elements. So then that brought us to the study. So this was our um, simplified uh, design. And we could see that the frequency response was still pretty much in the, in the center. The polar plot for the dipole was somewhat distorted, but not severe enough to cause us any issues. Um, because one of the things that were, is secondary to um, a direction finding antenna is the gain. Uh, with, we're, we're only interested in the accuracy of the bearing um, that, that the system produces and provides to the air traffic controllers. So with all our design validated, we, we were able to do all this work uh, without actually building um, any antenna. Uh, so we were quite pleased with all the simulation work that we um, were able to do, both with SOLIDWORKS and EM Works. Uh, to validate the whole design. So we were very confident that when we um, constructed the antenna, um, it, it was going to work and we weren't going to have any problems with it. Um, and that's exactly what we did. So we, we had it built. The first one was put into Cambridge Airport here in the UK. Um, and we had very, very good results with it. Um, the accuracy was typically within one degree. Um, and that's where we are. Um, and thank you for your time and any questions.